But first, starting off the morning with the Jimmy Sir All Day Vitamin Facial Cleanser. This is low pH and super gentle so it doesn't strip the skin. It contains vitamin tree extract and salicylic acid which are both good for removing dead skin cells. And chlorhexidine which has anti-inflammatory properties. So let's go to the morning. Freshly cleanse and I'm going to go into my serum. This is my second bottle of this stuff already. The Jimmy Sir All Day Vitamin Brightening and Balancing Serum. The main ingredient of this is also vitamin tree extract, which contains vitamin A, B, C, D, E, and K. So this is good for brightening the skin, but also has a whole lot of other properties. It's an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. It also doesn't oxidize like a lot of other vitamin C containing products do, which is really nice because I really don't like it when my serums turn yellow after a while. If you have pigmentation or acne scars, this is really good for that. And it also contains hyaluronic acid and centella asiatica extract to help nourish and restore the skin. I'm gonna move on to this cream. This one I just broke into last week. This is the Super Soothing Calming and Relief Facial Cream. I feel like the name of this just says it all. I don't have anything to add to this. <laughs> it's just super soothing and calming on the skin. That is all I'm doing for the morning. Just changing into my activewear and we are headed off to the gym. <laughs> all showered and time for a little face mask if you guys remember this is a face mask that i included in my beauty box which is still on sale by the way so if you guys haven't gotten your hands on it and still want it i will have it linked in the description box down below but this is the jimmy sir all day vitamin nourishing and recharging wash off mask this is just the best pick me up for your skin and smells absolutely delicious the main ingredient of this is lemon peel so it gives a little gentle exfoliation of dead skin cells and it also contains a 15 vitamin complex so it's just full of nutrients for the skin i'm just gonna leave this on my skin for a bit to absorb wash off in 10 to 15 minutes and then finish off with my serum and cream and i will be good to go you want to come say hi to everyone oh my god stop this girl has been so hyperactive this morning literally jumping everywhere and scratching everything right right look at her look at her off she goes oh my gosh she's trying to get into my closet can you guys see oh my god oh my god rosie <laughs> can you please calm down hello rosie <laughs> she thinks she's a ninja just washed off the mask and I'm going to do the same thing that I did this morning. So I don't think this needs any more explanation. If you guys wanted to check out these Jumiso products, I will have them linked down below for you. They're completely vegan and I do believe I also have a 30% off discount code. So that will also be in the description box down below. These past two weeks, I barely left the house because I've just been filming the lookbook that would have gone up last week by the time you're seeing this video i rarely do lookbooks because it is just so so tiring for me to film when you see the end result it's a pretty short video right but planning took two days filming took three days and editing took four days i'm a bit of a perfectionist and i like to edit to the beat of the music which means that i'm going over the same second of a song over and over and over again until I can make sure that the clip appears right on the beat. So I've pretty much had no life whatsoever for two weeks. If you guys haven't watched that lookbook already, please go watch it. <laughs> Just threw on some lippy and I look much more alive now. Um, I'm gonna quickly, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna change into something comfy and then we're gonna get some lunch <laughs> absolute perfect timing because my mall shop order just arrived i got a lot of stuff this time so very excited for this order first of all i have been completely obsessed with corn tassel tea recently i used to drink it all the time in korea and then i forgot about it and recently rediscovered my love for it so i ordered one of these if you guys haven't tried corn tassel tea you just need to try it because 
and how to describe what it tastes like. I also ordered another tea. This is green tangerine chamomile tea. I don't know if I'm gonna make it now, but this is how big each packet is, right? Inside, there's a tea bag as well as a whole slice of green tangerine. Also got bubble chips. If you guys haven't tried them yet, in English, they're called turtle chips. The chips look like this inside so they have four layers and it's just really really crunchy and delicious this one is corn soup flavor and this one's the original but there's also a choco churros flavor that i showed you guys last time and that one is just so so good as well so if you guys haven't tried it yet highly recommend i got some more snacks the og honey butter almonds honey citron wasabi baked corn almonds and also this one which i'm most excited to try these are garlic bread almonds i actually cannot wait to try these so i think i'm gonna break into it right now oh so the inside is not just almonds it's like i guess croutons that are meant to replicate garlic bread I'm gonna give this a little try It does taste like garlic bread. I'm always so surprised when they can replicate the exact flavor on something on an item that's not meant to taste like that. I don't know why, but that just blows my mind. Anyway, I think it's really good, guys. I recommend. I'm gonna seal this up before I kill the whole bag. These are from the brand Toon28. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I got the hand cream. This is what it looks like inside. Isn't that so cute? I thought the packaging of this hand cream was just so unique. This is the Organic Centella Water H2 Hand Cream. I also picked up two of their soaps. This one is a face soap and this one is a hair soap. So it's pretty much like shampoo, but just in the form of a block of soap, which is pretty cool. Let's open this box up. I already know what I want for lunch. Ta-da! This is the Soul Foods Times Mr. Hot Dog two pack of hot dogs with potato coating. All you need to do is throw this in the air fryer and it's gonna turn out amazing. We've got two packs of frozen mandu. This is the Pollock Row filling and this one is spicy baby octopus flavor. These seafood mini pancakes from the same brand. We've also got some of the restaurant made meals. This is a spicy fish roe soup beef pugogi. We've got a sundubu chige because I'm always craving this. And then the rest of this is all dessert. If you guys haven't tried these yet, these are so, so good. It's basically like a frozen roasted sweet potato, but the Korean sweet potatoes are so sweet and so delicious. So you can either eat this frozen and it'll have a kind of sorbet texture, or you can heat this up and it'll just be a piping hot roasted sweet potato. Got some frozen persimmon slices, some sparkling water, plain flavor, a lemon and lime. I also got these aids. All you need to do is pour a little bit of this into the cup and then add sparkling water into it and it's like the perfect refreshing soda you can basically recreate cafe style drinks at home something else i am very excited about butter oasis i don't think they have like a store by themselves but they supply their baked goods to a lot of korean cafes around sydney and you can also order the momoa shop they make like scones and crumbles really delicious fusion flavors oh my god I ordered three scones and three crumbles this is green tea white choco scone, earl grey scone, pumpkin brownie scone. That sounds so, so, so good. For the crumbles, I got Oreo cheesecake crumble, black sesame indomie crumble. I've tried this before. It is so delicious. And also the corn soup crumble, which I have not tried before, but it just sounded really interesting and I wanted to give this a go. I'm gonna keep these in the freezer so I can defrost and eat them one by one and exercise a little self-control. For the last two things, I got two boxes of ice cream rice cake. This first one is chestnut ice cream fusion rice cake. That looks so, so, so good. And in this box is the Yongi Jong strawberry yogurt cream fusion rice cake. I saw a lot of reviews online saying that this tasted really good. So, so excited to give this a try. I am hungry. So I'm going to quickly pack away my little haul. And then we're going to make this for lunch. It's going to take nine minutes. Okay, I'm going to put this in the air fryer first and then pack this away.
ready. I am so excited to dig into this. 잘 먹었습니다. This is the reason I work out, guys. So good. Out for a late lunch with Jackie and Nara and Jimmy. Hey. <laughs> We're eating lunch at like 3.30 right now. It's almost four. Yeah, it's actually almost four. Lunch slash dinner. I think Monaville Beach is like right down the road. And right now it's around sunset. So we're gonna see if we can catch the sunset. There is a pink sky. I'm so maybe we should go for a jog on the beach. Uh, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> oh my god, the sky is so pretty! Wow. I went away guys. I was only here for like five minutes. Oh, yeah. it's on that side. But the yeah. sea is over here. <laughs> That's where the view is at. The view is behind us. The last time we were at the beach together was in Bali. No way! It was! <laughs> was it? It was. That was the last yes. time we went to the beach together. That was November of... Oh, 2019? Not even 2020? 2019. Not even last year. Oh my god. But the sunsets of Bali was so nice. I know. The pink sky. <laughs> the sand is so cold. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna get frostbite. <laughs> Should we head back No, it's okay. We already came all the way here. I'll just lose my toes, it's fine. <laughs> it's so pretty though. Wow. Bali man. Bali man. Wow. 